Hello learners and teacher Felix Omondo Kumu from Greenview Schools Kamulu. Welcome to Mathematics Grade 8 lesson presentation. Today's lesson we are going to recap on what we are what I taught on the last lesson. I gave you an assignment, an extended activity on circumference, and we are going to go through it together so that we see whether you are right. Our first question, let us read together class, was a circular flower garden has a diameter of 56 centimeter. What is the circumference of the flower garden? What is the circumference of the flower garden? Before we approach this question, the first thing we have to do, we have to draw the circle. We have our circle there and we have our diameter. Now let us first of all put the formula circumference is equivalent to pi d. Circumference is equivalent to pi d. Pi is equal to 22 over 7 times diameter which is 56. Our answer is in centimeter. 7 goes here 1, 7 goes here 8. We are going to have 22 times 8. For easier multiplication, arrange your mathematics vertically, your figures vertically, and you multiply one by one. 2 times 8 is plus 16, we write 6, we carry 1. Very good. 2 times 8 again is very good class, 16 plus 1, 17, we write all of it. So our answer is equivalent to 176 centimeter. And that is the circumference of the circular flower garden. Our second question was fill in the following table. In the table we have radius, we have diameter, and we have circumference. We want to look the relationship between radius, diameter, and circumference. In our previous lesson, we defined and we stated very well that a diameter is a line that attaches two points on a circumference to the center. This is the first point, this is the second point that is attached to the center. Whereas the radius, we also define that it is a half the diameter. Now, if radius is half the diameter and we are given diameter, what is the radius? We will simply come up with our formula and we say, Radius is equal to diameter divided by 2. Which we are going to say here we have 28 as the diameter. So we have 28 divided by 2, which is equal to 28 divided by 2. And we're using long division. Class 2 goes into 2 how many times? Yeah, it goes there 1, very good. 1 times 2 is 2. If you subtract 2 minus 2 is 0. Then we drop 8 down. Class 2 goes into 8 how many times? Very well, 2 goes into 8 4 times. 4 times 2 is 8. And there we are going to have 0, 0. Our answer is 14. And therefore we have radius here to be 14. We have filled the first table. With the help of the radius and the diameter, now we can calculate the circumference. Now, circumference is equivalent to pi b, which is equivalent to 22 over 7 times diameter, which is 28. 7 goes here 1, 7 goes into 28, 4. We are going to have 22 times 4. 22 times 4 class is equivalent to 88, very good. And that is centimeter. And we are through with the first, with the first part of our table. On the second part of the table, we have 35 of the as radius, we don't have diameter, and we have circumference. 
Now for us to draw the diameter, for us to draw the diameter, diameter is equivalent to radius times 2. We have our radius as 35. We multiply 35 by 2. Class 35 by 2 is equivalent to very good 70 centimeter. So here we have 70 centimeter. We have we have radius and we have diameter. Now we are looking for circumference. Class, what is the formula of getting the circumference? Circumference is equivalent to pi pi b. Very good. We substitute 22 times 22 over 7 times our diameter which is 7 70 class 7 goes into 7 1 very good 7 goes into 70 10 we have 22 times 10 class what is 22 times 10 very good 200 and 10 220 centimeter not 210 oh. 22 times 10 plus 22 times 10 is equivalent to 220 very good centimeter and we have filled the second part of our table which is 220 centimeter the third part of our table the third part of our table is a little bit tricky because we are given circumference, we don't have diameter, and we don't have the radius. Now we will still use the same same formula. Circumference is equivalent to pi b. Circumference is equivalent to pi b. Now we are substituting the formula. Pi is equal to 22 over 7. The diameter we are not given. And now here we have C. Class, what is circumference? Circumference there is 80. 8. Let us work it out. 22 times D is equal to be 22 over 7 D. Here we have, still have 88. I want to do away with 22 over 7 so that I remain with D. I will multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 22 over 7. Whereby 22 to, is equal to be 7 over 22. That is the reciprocal of 22 over 7. And this side also I do the same. 22 will cancel 22. 7 will cancel 7. We are remaining with B. 22 goes here 1, it goes there 4. We are going to have 7 times 4. Class, what is 7 times 4? 7 times 4 is equivalent to 28. Now, our diameter is equal to 28 centimeter. We are still looking for the radius. As we know that the radius of a circle is a half the diameter. So we are going to divide our radius by 2. 2 goes here 1, 2 goes here 1. 2 goes into 8, 4 times. So our radius is equivalent to 14 centimeter. So here we have 14 centimeter. Our last part of our table is similar with the third part. We have been given circumference and we don't have diameter and we don't have radius. Now, circumference here, we still use the same formula. I will not use the same formula. I'm going to use a little bit different formula with that one. I'm going to drive the formula of getting the diameter. Whereby we are going to say diameter is equivalent to circumference you divide by pi. That is the formula we are going to use. Circumference in this instant, we are given to be 44. And we know very well our pi is fraction, that is 22 over 7. So we only get the reciprocal times 7 over 22.
So 22 goes here 1, 22 goes here 2. We are going to have 2 times 7. Class, what is 2 times 7? 2 times 7 is equivalent to 14 very good centimeter. 2 times 7 is equivalent to 14 centimeter. So we have a diameter of 14 centimeter. We will not go far, this is our diameter, and we are going to use this diameter to get the radius. We know very well the relationship between the diameter and the radius. Radius is a half a diameter. Hence, we are going to divide our diameter by 2. 2 goes here 1, 2 goes here 7. Our radius is equivalent to 7 centimeter. Hence, we have filled the whole table. Uh, learners, we have gone through our extended activity that I gave out, and I hope you have gotten everything. And if you have not gotten everything, we still have room for consultation. Today we want to look at when we are given half a circle. We have been looking at a full circle. Now, what is the formula of getting the circumference of a half a circle? Circumference of a half a circle, we have to introduce a half pi b. Why do we use a half? Because it is a semi circle, it is not a full circle. For example, let us calculate this together. Here we have a half, we substitute pi is equal to 22 over 7, don't forget that, times our diameter which is 35. Our answer will be in centimeter. Class 2 goes into 22 how many times? Yeah. 2 goes into 2, 1. Very good. Yeah. 2 goes into 22 how many times? 11. Class 7 goes into 7 how many times? Very good. Once. And class goes into 35 how many times? Class. Very good, it goes five times. Now in this juncture, we are going to have 11 times five. Class, what is 11 times five? Very good, 11 times five is equivalent to 55, 55 centimeter. And that is how we are doing our, we are getting the area of a semicircle Semicircle the area. The formula of getting the circumference of semicircle is equal to a half pi d. Whereby we have a half times 22 over 7 times 35. Class 2 goes into 2. How many times? Very good ones. And into 22. 11. Very good. Then 7 goes into 7. How many times? Class. Ones. And into 35, 5, very good. And now, now we have 11 times 5. 11 times 5 is equivalent to 55 centimeter. And that is the circumference of the semicircle. Now we are going to get the, we are going to look at the circumference of a quarter circle. If you are given a quarter circle, you only replace a half by a quarter. Circumference is equivalent to a quarter times pi b. So you multiply a quarter and pi d. Whereby we are going to have, I'm going to substitute it, a quarter times 22 over 7, which is our pi times our diameter. You will realize that here in a quarter circle we don't have diameter. But we have radius. These are radius. These radius. We can decide. Let us get our diameter. We say the relation between our diameter. Diameter and radius. Radius is equivalent to diameter is equivalent to radius times 2 which is 7 times 2. 7 times 2 is 14. That is our diameter. 7 goes here 1 class. 7 goes into 14 how many times? Very good. 2. And 2 goes into 4 how many times? Very good. 2. Class 2 goes into 22 how many times? 
very good. It goes there 11. And our answer is equivalent to 11 centimeter. That is our work for today. I'm going to send you the extended work or the extended activity. Have a nice time until next lesson.